Uh, hi, so um, I'm Arif Tukiman and um, from Run Club is my click, uh, uh, Raj and uh, Hadi over there. I hope you guys not sleepy. You already uh, ate pizza and uh, still energy to, to know um, we will share about um, Run Club and on how you can easily dis deploy your PHP applications on cloud. So may I know, all of you, everyone, um, do you guys host your applications on shared hosting? Raise your hand up. Or cloud hosting? AWS? Google Cloud? Google Cloud? Up Cloud? No? Up Cloud? <laughs> okay, Up Cloud. I will go first together. Um, uh, thank you very much to Zion inviting us um, to talk about Run Cloud. So I am drove all the way from Johor Bahru. So I live here. And uh, Raj is from Mumbai. And Hadi also from uh, Johor Bahru. So um, while we're waiting for the slides, um, so our main agenda of uh, this talk is we, we want to share about um, what is Run Cloud and why you need to use uh, to deploy your application on cloud and and how we simplify the onboarding process if you want to use Google Cloud so we simplify your application to put on the cloud very easy so um, okay slides is it oh maybe we need to, to use my no there's some resolution so uh, anyone here is uh, all of you is uh, developers or business owners business owners developers php developers all of you is php developers um, using same as wordpress yeah wordpress all right so i am sure that Abdul also one of the wordpress guy wordpress guy so um, my uh, my background is uh, uh, as a web developer, um, cover on the front end, and uh, I also was as a, a game developer. I develop games, and I'm also running my own um, digital agency. We develop websites, system, application for uh, private and public sector, government. Um, so while waiting for the slides, okay. Okay, Raj? Is it okay? Yeah. Sorry? <laughs> Technical problem is could be as impacted, right? So, yeah, Run Cloud. So, we are Run Cloud, Raj, Hadi. So, we want to share about uh, Run Cloud, uh, the benefits of Run Cloud towards the community. Um, right? Okay. So, yeah. So I'm the co-founder and CEO of Run Club, and my background is uh, into web developments. So right now I'm focused more into uh, product developments in Run Club. So right now we have uh, 70 members, including me. Yeah, what is Run Club? So Run Club is a modern web server panel to configure your cloud servers and web deployments. So meaning that we simplify the, all the process, configurations, and, uh, uh, and performance optimization, as well as the security, that you can save up 90% of your time uh, to, to, to set up your, your uh, cloud environment, configurations, just within clicks. So meaning that the beauty of Run Cloud, you can even manage multiple or cloud providers. So let's say you have a Google Cloud, or you have a, a three servers on Up Cloud, so you can manage all of the clouds just from one dashboard. So you can see from AWS, DO, GCP, Up Cloud, or any other clouds, right? So it's very easy and quick access. We have one customer uh, that connects more than 200 servers and, uh, from US, and they manage more than 300 applications. So, yeah, so we started Run Cloud uh, end of year 2016. This is my team members in Malaysia. So, we start soft launch Run Cloud uh, to 
in one event, developer community in, in Kuala Lumpur, about uh, 500 plus. So we, we won as the best project at that time. And 2017, uh, we selected as top three SaaS company. We are soft, software as a service uh, to feature on stage in TechCrunch, Berlin, 2017. Top three SaaS in the world. So why we, we featured uh, NTB on stage? Because we, we solve developer problems on how to configure clouds by using Run Cloud. So if you can see, a lot of tech industry right now are moving toward from traditional hosting or shared hosting to cloud hosting. So we are the, we creating the, the, the demand over there. And now 2018, last year, right? Um, from 300 signups in Malaysia. So right now we have more than 40,000 users and we manage over 93 domains, 90,000 90, domains, yeah. And we already penetrate more than 80 countries use Run Cloud. We won a lot of uh, awards and we a uh, regional uh, winner for Startup World Cup uh, 2018 and a few tech events, yeah. Why Run Cloud? So let's say you're running your own business, you're running your own um, uh, web agency, so if you need to hire system admin to cover your servers, so by using Run Cloud, you can save a lot of money. Instead of time, your developer or you yourself as a developer, you can save a lot of time instead of you need to, to spend a lot of time to configure your cloud. So just within 15 minutes, everything done, including performance and security. If we grow organic from time to time, day to day, from community to other communities, they recommend us, right? So uh, current cloud users across the world, more than 80 countries, uh, community start love and uh, recommend our solutions in Reddit, Facebook groups, forums, everywhere. So um, this is very unique, right? And and uh, we we also grow through our ambassadors from all over the world. So I want to share about uh, the ambassadors and other things and doing a few demo about Run Cloud, so I would like to pass to Raj to talk more about uh, demo and other things, right? Okay, oh yeah, I forgot about it. <laughs> no worries. Yeah? Yeah. So we'll clip this. Okay. Uh, okay. Huh? Thank you, Arif. Uh, thank you, Zain. And sorry for late pizza. I'm that guy who is responsible for late pizza. <laughs> I'll make sure the pizza will come before everyone you know, joins in. Uh, this is the last session. We'll be moving out. I know everyone is tired, sleepy, or whatever. I'll try to keep it short and engaging because we'll be doing live demo. Uh, so to start with, that's me. You all can call me Raj. I'm looking at the marketing stuff at RunCloud. And my job is to stay connected with the community. That is what I love, OK? You all can connect me on Twitter, LinkedIn. And you know what? Sometimes you know people say that you have the smartphones, you're talking to someone. If you're on the smartphone, that's insulting. I take that as no insult. You know why? I'm going to tell you. Wait. So these are the list of ambassadors. We are expanding globally because we are already serving the clients in 80 plus countries. So we need to have the global ambassador. We are going to pick one very soon from Singapore. Be ready for it. So all right, so why smartphones and no offense? Is because what is Run Cloud? I want to see who all were quite uh, paying attention to what is Run Cloud. Maybe you can Google it, no problem. So here's an interesting piece. Everyone using uh, smartphones that quite obvious in 2019. Who all are on Twitter and quite active? Please raise some hand. No offense. Because there's something we have for the Twitter users. OK? So uh, not many users or maybe shy to raise hands. Don't worry, I, I won't follow you guys. So what we want to keep here is uh, while I'm talking, Arif has uh, given a brief intro about RunCloud. 
Uh, Hadi is going to take over and give you the geeky side of it with the Git deployment. And I'm going to run you through, guys, with the connection of uh, the servers. So while we are talking, we want you guys to pick the key pointers that you have understood and tweet about it using the hashtag. Okay, the top tweets will get one year free pro plan and uh, you'll get all the features uh, with the pro plan and it's completely free. You can spin unlimited servers on that. And uh, the other tweets, they will get uh, our t-shirt, okay? So it's, it's no pressure, but if you can do that, maybe just win yourself a pro plan. Okay, so moving on, how RunCloud works, okay? So I know you guys are the developers, all right? And at some point or the other, you guys really want to play with every script and geeky thing that you want. Like for example, I want to put up my own server. Why should I go for anything that is ready-made? Okay, I'll tell you what, you guys enjoy doing coding on PHP, okay? Not every single time you want to spend your time spinning up the uh, servers, creating that environment, and you know, wasting your time on that. At some point or the other, when you're developing the application, you want to focus on the development part. You don't want to waste your time on spinning up the server. That's not the primary thing that you want to do. You want to just focus on your application, you want to debug that application, and boom, go live on that. So here what we do is you have the cloud server, let's consider upcloud in this case. You connect that with runcloud, and now you deploy your applications, okay? You can even connect the Git to that. Uh, Git users, most of you, okay. Just, just get into the Git soon, <laughs> okay? So uh, all the Git users, so we have the Git deployment as well. PHP WordPress users, just raise hand, man. Everyone is using WordPress nowadays, like if you want to put up the blog, exactly. So uh, we have one-click applications as well. However, for all the developers, because RunCloud was originally built for the developers. We are a few bunch of developers, every time building something, getting bogged down with why we have to go through this entire process of uh, setting up the cloud all the time. So we came up with this uh, tool. So I'm going to show you how you can connect the server. Uh, for a demo purpose, I'll be uh, deploying WordPress. Don't kill me for that. And uh, what, the, give you a complete overview of the dashboard as well. Okay, so this is, uh, this part I'll come back, okay? Are you guys ready for the live demo? Yes. yes. Yeah, after live pizza. Okay, so. I, okay, you guys have to move that all the time. <laughs> okay, I want to thank Upcloud for a wonderful uh, overhaul of entire thing. I remember seeing a dashboard a couple of months back, and today when I see it's completely different. And, you know, I have deployed these servers right there. Like, when I was sitting there listening to the talks, I spun, like, two servers, and it was a no-brainer for me, okay? So I'm not going to waste my time anymore in deploying the server. So I'm going to consider this Chicago one, okay? So all I have to do is just, this is a start, okay? I'm not going to show you how you can deploy the server. The uh, new dashboard by Upcloud is quite uh, easy. You guys can use that. I'm going to copy this. This is the dashboard, RunCloud dashboard, okay? So the first process is connecting the server. I'm going to name this test serve. So this is the server IP, connect. Okay, this is the installer script. And I'm also going to tell you guys about our roadmap. So we are going to get rid of all this uh, installer procedures. Uh, thankfully, if the cloud infrastructure help us get the APIs and all that, and we automate this entire process for you. So I'm going to open this Git bash. I use Git bash, so I'm a Windows guy. I'm going to SSH the server. Can you increase the font size? Yeah, for people to have. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So SSH to my server. Okay.
Okay, so I'm in my server now. I'm connected to a cloud server at Chicago. All I have to do is just go here, copy the installer script, paste it here, and enter. Now, this is running all the scripts and all the dependencies, everything that is required for the server to get connected to this. I'm not going to waste your guys' time. I'm going to go back here. I already have UpCloud, so this is my UpCloud server. So once the setup is done, like as of right now, if you go back, see while this setup is running, um, I'll show you, okay. So while this setup is running, you guys see this portion. So as you progress, it will show you that, okay, it is completing 30%, 35%. So you can see the progress over here. But I'm going to go back, pick up one of the upcloud server that I already have. All right. So once this setup is 100% completed, it will take less than 10 minutes for this whole process. So once it is set up, you'll get a dashboard like this. You can monitor your server to get all these fancy things inside it. A lot of option to explore later. We have short of time, so I cannot go through each and every of uh, everyone or every option here. So what I'm going to do next is, so this is my server, this is my upcloud server. So the next process is I'm going to go into web application and I'm going to create one application. So let me call this test app. I already have a domain for this purpose. I'm just pointing that IP. Uh, let's say you want to have your own system users. So you can create the system users by going to this option. Okay, this, this is helpful when you're sharing your SFTP details and all that, so you can create the respective system users. And to our PHP 7.3 guy, we are, I'm installing 7.3, okay? <laughs> Be happy with the speed. All right, so we only have three options. You can either go for the Nginx and hybrid Apache 2. If you guys really want to use HT Access, a lot of WordPress users do go for this option. But I often prefer pure Nginx because of the performance part. While we were progressing, we got to know from a lot of developers that why you guys want to limit us from the customization. Tomorrow, as a developer, you want to customize certain things on your server. So we came up with the third option where you can spin Nginx web server and do your customization as well. So there is no limitations. There were, but there is no limitations anymore. So you guys can add whatever you want to do or add any added feature, maybe the caching feature or whatever on your server. So no limitations. For this purpose, let me pick Nginx. And that's it. So this is live. I'm installing the Nginx web server here, okay? Stack mode? Yeah. Uh, that's up to you. Which option do you want to select? You want to select the production or the development? That way. That? The difference is, uh, you know, sometimes you want to, uh, it's, it's more like you are, uh, for the production and development, there are different environments that you kind of use. Uh, uh, you know, uh, like for the development purpose, sometimes you have certain dependencies that you do not want to take it on the uh, live server at points, you know, because if you have the Git deployment and all that, so you have certain features or certain environment that is not necessary on the live server, right? So you can always have this, uh, which is not live for the end users, but within the team that you can share. Okay, so this is our, I'm sorry, I think the net is slow or something. So this is our web application. So let me show you some. So I'll go back, I'll show you the path altogether. So this is my AppCloud server. I'm going into the web application, the one that we just created. And now I want to install WordPress, okay? So I'm going to go into script installer, select the WordPress. 
There are a lot of uh, CMS here, PHP applications, so you can pick any. I'm going to pick uh, in, uh, WordPress, and it's done. So the next step is, uh, let me have the SSL. Even here, uh, you have two options, so I'm going to take this as the header to force the HTTPS. I'm going to pick this, uh, and I'm going to say that it's a live real SSL. I'm going to submit that. So boom, the let's encrypt is also installed. The security certificate is installed. The next step is I'm going to add the domain to this. So we have this domain. So let me show you what you see as of right now. So you will get this setup configuration window. So to proceed further, you'll need a database. I'm going to go back here. Database. I'm going to create a database. Let's say test DB. That's my database. I'm going to create a user. Let's say Okay, I'm going to add this user. So I need that information here. When I do continue, I go here. And it's done. So that's the live WordPress site that's running. And I can monitor my uh, entire server from here. OK. Uh, there are a couple of logs, if you guys are interested in diving deep into it. There's also one interesting thing if you guys are like WordPress users and you are putting up your site and all that. So, the file manager. Now, if you have a website and you want to make a basic change, like the WordPress guys will understand, sometimes there are certain things that you want to add in WP config file and all that. So, we have the live editor for this. So you can click on any, for example, I'll click on this and do, yeah, do the edit. So here I can update if I want to change any database or anything. So the point is that there's a live editor for that as well. So now, Okay. So what did we do there? We pick up the bare machine. We picked up upcloud uh, server. I am not a DevOps guy. I'm not a system admin, but still I managed to spin that server with all the dependencies and make it, uh, you know, uh, the, the entire setup in such a way that I managed to put up my one of the PHP application and that is WordPress in this example. Then I have deployed all the, uh, uh, the database, I did all the connectivity, and you guys seen the live uh, application that was running. Now, that is for the WordPress users, or maybe Joomla users, or maybe certain CMS users. What about the developers? What do we have here for the developers? Now, when the developers, they're creating an application on their local server, your systems, your laptop, you, like a lot of people, they said that they don't use Git repositories. I think sooner or later, every time, you know, uh, when, when the development portion goes well, 
you guys somewhere will believe into the power of git repository where you do the version control uh, do you agree to me the git yeah it's powerful so when you when you build a very big application you want something to control the versions you know where you can put your repositories what if that server goes turn off you know it burns out and it goes your all your file and all your hard work will go off you need git repository it's really really good for all the developers go check it so that's your local system where you actually start your application you're developing the application you put it on the git repository now using the run cloud you're managing your server you don't have to worry about that you just have to worry about your application development maybe you're a php developer you're building an application just focus on that now the server is deployed run cloud is managing that for you using the web hook you can connect your git repository to the server okay and once this entire setup is done which hadi will tell you how you guys can do so because of the short of time we have recorded the video for you and hadi will play pause it and show you how the entire git deployment process will go so once this entire setup is done all you have to do is make changes which which editor do you guys use vs code anyone visual studio code okay sublime okay i switch from sublime so <laughs> because vs code was free and it's really really nice so i have recently switched from sublime to uh, vs code so i am sitting on my system local system i am making changes on my application and my code i am pushing that okay and all uh, the push that latest push or the version that i am uh, sending on the server it's getting live so this entire process is automated you don't have to go back to your server and run some uh, codes to make sure that the latest version is running all you have to do is connect that and do any changes to your vs code you know some code changes you push it and it's live entire process is automatically handled now there is one thing for example if that entire compilation or the process fails how do you know you get an email from run cloud that the git deployment that you just tried it has failed okay <clears throat> all right so run cloud has initially uh, got a good organic growth as arif has given you the numbers like currently we are like you saw the domain name that i have put up right so we are currently serving 93000 plus domains and 14000 plus servers that are spinning as of right now so we have a lot of plans in 2019 to expand just to give you a gist of our quarter 1 and 2 so one of our ambassadors at indonesia he'll be uh, the speakers at wordcamp jakarta then we have a startup and entrepreneur meetup in bali in quarter 1 then we have a meet up in uh, new york in quarter 2 uh, this is one of the meet up that we are planning in london in quarter 2 as well so this is just a gist but maybe in the first half of the year we'll be traveling to more than 10 countries because we have our ambassadors uh, globally and we are doing a lot of off offline meet ups there uh, the the purpose is same like giving the information why run cloud and how you can save your time so uh, now you guys have seen that you know it was a process of running the script then going back creating the uh, uh, web application then installing the wordpress and then creating the database it was quite a tedious process so we are very soon going to automate that entire process again depends on how cloud infrastructure give us the access accessibility to run the scripts on that so in this is our quarterly plan it is uh still going to go better and we are going to fill in more and more features to it but in the quarter one we are uh focusing more on improving our uh ui ux and make it more simpler okay and uh, we are going to add more and more features to it in the quarter two we are completely focused on uh making it more wordpress friendly when i say wordpress friendly i mean to say that a wordpress guy who could be a techy or non techy or moderately techy he just have to go take a server and click on the wordpress setup inside uh, the uh, the run cloud dashboard and everything is done you don't have to worry about what script i have to run and how do i create the database nothing you just give us the information and everything will be automated so this entire process that step it took 1 2 3 it's all going to go and it's going to be one click uh, run for it uh okay so currently we are supporting ubuntu 
So we have updated it till uh, the latest LTS 18.04. And in by the end of quarter four, we are going to support CentOS. Okay, so and gradually we will try and support more and more Linux distributions. Okay, so about uh, UpCloud and our association, so we are closely connected with the team uh, in London and we are going to have a live webinar. So whoever want to have a complete overview and some more information, they, they all can join us uh, for this live webinar. It, it is in this month, mid of uh, this month. All right, so all the attendees whom I just bugged, <laughs> they're like, just finish it off, we want to go home. You guys get 30% discount if you want to uh, give it a spin. Uh, don't want to spend a penny, no problem. We have the free plan as well. If you just want to see what I showed is real, okay? So you guys are already getting a $50 credit from UpCloud. You can just pick a cloud, uh, pick our free plan. You can spin one server and see the power, how, how, you know, how it saves time and how good it is. So, um, might want to take a note of the code if you want to uh, end up using this, okay? So, I'm going to hand it over, uh, do we have time, like five, 10 minutes? Yeah. Cool. So, I'm going to hand it over to our uh, engineer. So, he knows the every piece of code that is written in that. So, he will run you through uh, the Git deployment process. So, it's a recorded video, but he will play and pause and show you how it works. So, Abdul Hadi, thank you, thank you guys for listening. Okay. This one is easy, I think they have yeah. extension. Yeah. Just HDMI. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, direct HDMI. Nice. Okay, okay. so you need you... sound. Oh, no need sound. Okay. So okay. You wear this thing on there. Okay. Okay. Nice your pocket. Okay. Okay. okay, hello everyone. So I'm Hadi, one of the developer from uh, RunCloud. So, okay, I will show you guys the, tiki, the geeky part about uh, RunCloud. It's actually, I'm showing you guys how to set up a PHP project the right way in RunCloud. Okay, so if you, if you guys are PHP developer, right? So mostly you create a code, then you will be uploading your code to the server, probably using FileZilla, maybe, or maybe you kind like, you have some your, uh, probably using what, uh, Dropbox, Dropbox transfer, everything. So the right way actually is using the Git. Okay, why why I'm saying this is the right way? Because with Git, first you will save your codes every in your in your Git server. It will so your your codes won't be missing. For example, your laptop is burned or something like that, right? So all your all your work is gone there. So it's not that because Git will save your codes. And the best way is because most of the Git server, Git hosting, uh, out there. They have this webhook ability. So this webhook, so what RunCloud do here is we automate the webhook ability on the Git uh, hosting through RunCloud with the interface. So no need for you to do the, the hard part to, for example, to what to connect your server to the Git, uh, for example, GitHub. So, so the connection there, you, you need to have an access, SSH access and everything, blah, blah, blah. That one is very complicated and you need to really understand this this how the server work and everything so but in run cloud you can make it very easy okay i'll show you guys so like uh raj say before this so you need for the, firstly you need to have uh you need to have a project in run cloud first okay so this is actually the dashboard for the run cloud actually I, i'm i'm really like the dashboard because it show me the information about my server so first create an application uh from here you see i just created application web apps and then put the domains so i think this part rush only already so 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 you guys so i will make it faster blah 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 stack and everything okay then so this is the git setup okay so uh, let me back to the video pause it okay so for run cloud for the git setup actually we support several git hosting so we support bitbucket uh, github the famous one gitlab and even for example you have your own hosted git server so you have your own git server everywhere i don't know how you set it up so you can actually set up with run cloud also 
So it's very quite easy. See, okay, I'll show you guys. So, so, so this is my example of my Laravel project. So like, like our friend says, right, who uses Laravel? So I'm using Laravel. I say you, even run cloud is made by made entirely from Laravel. Several, several Laravel actually. So you see, this is my Laravel project. And I'm firstly, I'm git this project. So this I'm using uh, Visual Studio, Visual Studio Code. Visual, yeah. So because the, the reason is because it's free and it's fast. So that's why I'm using it. So this is how you set up a Git. Actually, if you're using this uh, Visual Code, right? The Git setup is actually there. It's no need for you to do anything. It's already installed for you. So it's actually convenient to have it. Okay, so this is the init file for the, the Laravel project. Everything, blah, blah, blah. And then, okay, so for example, for now, I'm using Bitbucket. And another reason, Bitbucket is free. Free for private project. So that's, what, that's why. I don't want to, other, other people to see my project. So actually, I've created several projects already. Actually, using RunCloud, I've created more than 10 web applications for a client. So most of them are really satisfied because I'm deploying their website quite fast because I have RunCloud, so that's figured. And mostly, most of the problem, uh, for example, if the, the server is down and everything, mostly RunCloud will alert me. So I can prepare if the client asking why my website are not up, something like that. Okay, so this is, okay. When you created, uh, when you cre created a Git repository in Bitbucket, right? So this is Bitbucket. So mostly you will have instruction how to copy from your local repository, local file, to the uh, to the local the hosting Git hosting. So actually, I'm just copy and paste there, and using console on on uh, Visual Visual Code because they have also provide you a console. And then copy paste, copy paste. There. And now your codes are on Bitbucket. So you say like your codes are safe now. Okay. So. So when you see there, all your codes are on Bitbucket. Okay. So now you need to take the uh, repo. Actually, it's repo URL. So every uh, Git hosting, they will use the standard repo URL one. So it's, it will be your name or your username and the repo name. Okay. So this is another part. That's actually I, I told you the tedious part. So, in order for you to make this webhook workable on your server, okay, firstly, you need to have a deployment key, okay, or probably the easy way is a SSH key from your server. The server, for example, you, you're putting your server on AppCloud, right? So, you need to create the SSH key, then the SSH key, you need to copy paste, uh, you, you need to copy the, the SSH key to the Bitbucket and everything, but for RunCloud, we already generated for you. So no need for you to go to the terminal and write it, the codes and everything. Just use our interface for deployment key. Then, I think I will. Then, now you see, in Bitbucket, I just need to add the deployment key to access key. Yeah. So. I add it there, and now I connect my server, or no, I connect my Bitbucket using the URL, using the URL that I, I, I tell you guys, attach, and everything is done. So now, oh wait, it's actually it's loading, so wait to loading work for a while, okay, and everything is done, okay. So now, actually what happened, your codes that from the... Uh, Git hosting now already on your server. Okay? So now, 
you need to use this webhook URL and probably, uh, yeah, then you need to paste it here on webhook. Okay, so you might be wondering what is actually a webhook. Okay, if you guys uh, know about uh, continuous delivery, C CDCN, CI, I don't know what the for name. So uh, in continuous delivery, uh, they use this kind of like, trigger. For example, uh, if a developer want push a, a code, and then you need to have this uh, CDCN, so they need to CD, they need to check if the code is valid, if the code's uh, modules are correct or everything, then it will trigger the repo to update from your production server. Okay, that's the CDCN. But in RunCloud, we actually not that up level yet. We just use that one particular webhook. So make your code transfer from this local, uh, from your local computer to the server is quite faster. So here, Actually, I show you how to create a webhook in Bitbucket. Actually, in GitLab or GitHub, it's quite different, but it's same, same, somehow same. Okay, then you see all the codes already in the server. Right, right, say, but this is a Laravel. Okay, and the, the you need to know that in Laravel, you need to conf configure your environment so your environment in the server is quite different because in uh, in the in your local maybe you use local database and everything so in the server you need to have your own server environment so here is actually uh, the local configuration i make i make it a new environment for laravel in the server and then i'm editing it through run cloud no need for me to copy paste. Uh, oh no, no need to, to open the terminal to do to this to do this. Everything do it in, in Run Cloud. So then, so I change all the environments setting. Uh, let me skip this. This is quite long. So I change the database name and everything. So actually, I I just create the database. Uh, Rush already show you guys how to create the database. Attach and everything. Okay. So I already saved the environment. Okay, if you see all this, the server, all the web application already work. Okay. So now Actually, I'm using UpCloud server for this demo. So now I'm accessing the UpCloud server. So this is the terminal for the server because we install everything. Uh, we install your server from scratch. Uh, for example, all the uh, web servers, NGI, and my database and everything, PHP and everything. So mostly you will get the console that configured by us. So there, that's why there's a run cloud there in your, in your terminal. And now, actually, I'm accessing to the folder. Okay. Okay. So, if you are a Laravel developer, you know that, firstly, you need to key generate and, yeah, so this key generate and then you need to migrate all your database. So, composite install and everything is done. Okay. So this one is a bit slow. Uh, it's not that upcloud server is slow. It's just the internet, I see. Okay, and everything is done. Okay. So now, when you check your application, your Laravel file is there. And for example, I change it every, I change on my local server. So this code is on my local server. Laravel, I change it to upcloud plus run cloud. And when you change it locally, okay, if you use Git, you know that you need to push and pull your server, your code. So when you push to your code, you can see your server is already uploaded. It's already updated. So this, this server is actually still on. So I will show you guys that uh, 
this server is still on so wait let me check my internet connection it's okay so let me do some changes on the codes thanks okay so the changes is there so if i put it here So it's done, and the change, the code is changed. Thanks. Thanks. Okay. So now we are open for a geeky question. Everything can you tell us? Any, <coughs> any questions or anything? How many guys actually develop a proper PHP project or PHP uh, website before, like on your own or on your company? Actually, I don't know lah because uh, we are from Malaysia, right? So, for Malaysia, PHP is like the number one language is because other than PHP, is an enterprise language lah, .NET, Java. So, for guys or for a, a government agency that don't want to use the enterprise, so they usually use PHP. So, that's why, that's why we come up with this. So, for Malaysia, PHP, like, rank up with Kauti movie. <laughs> okay. <laughs>